Hi everyone, my name is Sam, and this is Today in History. Today is Friday, November the 29th, the 334th day of 2024. There are 32 days left in the year. On this day in 1830, a Polish secret society of infantry cadets staged an uprising in Warsaw, beginning the November insurrection. On this day in 1832, author Louisa May Alcott, who is best known for her novel Little Woman, was born in Pennsylvania. On this day in 1850, Prussia and Austria signed the punctuation of Olmutz, an agreement regulating the two powers' relations. On this day in 1864, Colonel John M. Shivington led a surprise attack, known as the Sand Creek Massacre, on a camp of Cheyenne and Arapaho people in southeastern Colorado Territory. U.S. troops murdered more than 230 Native people who were at the site under a white flag of truce. On this day in 1929, American pioneer aviator Richard E. Byrd flew over the South Pole. On this day in 1947, the United Nations General Assembly passed Resolution 181, which called for the partition of Palestine into Arab and Jewish states and for the placing of the city of Jerusalem under a special international regime. On this day in 1963, U.S. President Lyndon B. Johnson appointed the Warren Commission to investigate the assassination of John F. Kennedy. On this day in 1981, American film actress Natalie Wood drowned under mysterious circumstances while vacationing on a yacht off Santa Catalina Island. On this day in 1997, in a ceremony that was broadcast around the world by satellite, some 28,000 couples gathered at RFK Stadium in Washington, D.C. for a wedding conducted by Sun Myung Moon, leader of the Unification Church. On this day in 2001, George Harrison, formerly of the Beatles, died of cancer at the age of 58. That is entirely too young. On this day in 2008, architect Jorn Utzon, who designed the Sydney Opera House, one of the most photographed buildings in the world, died in Copenhagen at the age of 90. 90 is very old. On this day in 2023, Henry Kissinger, who was one of the most influential and controversial diplomats during the second half of the 20th century, dying in Connecticut at age 100. And 100 is very old. All right, everybody, that's it for today. Today is Friday, November the 29th, the 334th day of 2024. There are 32 days left in the year. 